So, I'll just tell you why, why I wrote the book. Actually, it wasn't meant to be a book. I had the, my daughter asked me to write about our life in Burma and Goa. And she said the grandchildren would want to know about our lives. So she asked me to write and during the lockdown I started writing. And while I was writing it, I thought it would just be a documentation of facts and events and places. But somehow, while I was writing it, I, I uh, memories started coming back of many things I thought I had already forgotten or that didn't matter to me anymore. It was such a long time ago, over 70 years ago, and uh, I thought those events in my life were done with. I had forgotten about them. But no, while I was writing about them, they all kept coming back. And not just the memories, the feelings associated with the memories, the thoughts, and I began to see it in a new light. Not Sometimes I was feeling like I was a child again, going through those events again. At the same time, a grown-up me is standing and watching it. So it was, it was quite an experience for me. And uh, then I started adding more uh, little anecdotes to make the word count a bit more because it was, uh, it was not enough to make a book. So I started adding anecdotes and I showed it to two writer friends, like Jerry Pinto, he's a famous writer, he said it could make a very good book. So I said, okay, I'll try, I'll add more, make it into a book. Then I started editing it and uh, adding, subtracting, whatever I could do to make it a better book. And that's how the book came about. Then when I came here, I asked Frederick Narona, I said, let's make it a Made in Saligam book. Uh, I didn't go to the big publishers because they wanted a lot of changes. And I didn't want to change what I had written from my heart. I didn't expect them to change it into, in such a drastic way. So I, I did not go to those publishers. In fact, I asked Frederick Narona, is it okay? He said, yes, it's okay. So he did not change anything. He saw that it had come from my heart. So he said, yes, I'll publish it. Although it's so hard to publish books now, paper is so expensive, the printing is so expensive, the taxes are so high. So it was very difficult for him to, and yet he did what he could for me. And I'm very grateful. And I'm so happy today is Women's Day. I can see all the happy women around here, and you're all from Saliga, most of you. I'm so glad. Happy Women's Day to all of you. I'm proud to be a woman, glad to be a woman, and uh, I'm glad this is happening on Women's Day. And uh, thank you all very much for coming. I won't keep you all very long. And if you want to know anything, you can ask me later.